One of the lovely things about geometry is the way you can start with ideas that are very simple, almost obvious, and deduce from them, by a series of logical arguments, things that are truly ex extraordinary. Perhaps you can't quite believe them when you first see them. Now, I'd like to show you an example. Here's something truly simple. If two straight lines intersect like this, I believe it's obvious, and I, I hope you agree, that these two angles here, called opposite angles, are equal. You can, in fact, prove this using still simpler ideas, but I'd rather not here, I, I hope you agree with me, that it's obvious, relatively obvious, that those two angles are equal when two straight lines intersect. And I shall use that. I'm going to now draw two parallel lines, that is, two straight lines that never meet. And I'm going to draw a third line, straight line, that intersects both of them. And I would like to argue that these two angles, here and here, are rather obviously equal. And we can use this result now. This angle here is equal to this angle here because they are opposite angles. And it follows, therefore, because these two angles here are equal and these two angles here are equal, it follows that this angle here is equal to this angle here. And these are called alternate angles. When you have two parallel lines, the line intersecting them, angles like this are called alternate angles, and they're always equal. And I should now like to use that result, the result about alternate angles, to prove something that I've always viewed as fairly remarkable. And that is, if you take any triangle, no matter what its shape, and you add up the three angles, which are labelled A, B, and C, then you always get 180 degrees. A plus B plus C is 180 degrees. And this is such a well-known result, perhaps people are so used to it, arguably it's not obvious at all. It's, it's really rather extraordinary at first sight. I don't, this triangle could be very long and thin, instead of the way I've drawn it. The, the three angles would still add up to a total of 180 degrees. And yet I can prove that using this idea of alternate angles in one line, literally one line actually, because I'm going to draw in a line parallel to this one through this top point of the triangle here. So this line here is constructed parallel to this one here. And the reason I've done that is that this angle here is the same as this angle here, because these two angles, that one and this one, are alternate angles. This straight line here is intersecting these two parallel lines here. And similarly, this angle here must be equal to B because this line here is intersecting these two parallel lines, so those two angles must be equal, because again, they're alternate angles. And one of the most elementary facts in the whole of geometry is that there are 180 degrees in a straight line, so these three angles here have to add up to 180 degrees, because that's a straight line, and therefore A plus B plus C is 180 and that proves that the angles of a triangle, no matter what its shape, always add up to a total of 180 degrees. And to prove it, we started with something as simple as the idea that when two straight lines intersect, the opposite angles are equal.